When the sun finally shifted far enough for the telescopes to see past its blinding glare, researchers expected to resume tracking an unusually strange interstellar object, nothing more. Instead, the James Webb Space Telescope captured a sight so unexpected that it sent an instant ripple of confusion and urgency through observatories worldwide. The object, known as 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor ever detected in our solar system, had returned from behind the sun transformed. Where astronomers anticipated a faint point of light, they instead saw something radiating with more than four times the brightness it displayed before disappearing into solar conjunction. Its glow rose and fell in smooth, deliberate transitions, almost as though its surface reacted not passively but dynamically to the sun's energy. And within that shimmering envelope of reflected light, Webb recorded geometric contours, hexagonal segments aligned in a pattern far too orderly to be dismissed as an accident of dust or ice. Before those discoveries could even be processed, another anomaly emerged, a faint ultraviolet pulse repeating at exact, unwavering intervals. Nothing about the object's reappearance conformed to natural behavior. Nothing about it fit the profile of a comet. And so, with its return, 3I Atlas reopened one of the most unsettling scientific mysteries in recent memory. When 3I Atlas appeared, it instantly became part of this extremely rare category, and observatories across the globe coordinated to monitor it. Hubble tracked it from orbit. The KEK Observatory in Hawaii followed it nightly, and multiple European telescopes contributed readings as it moved inward. This level of collaboration typically occurs only in response to unusually important astronomical events. With 3I Atlas, the coordination began because something about it felt wrong from the start. Its orbit defied expectation. Comet trajectories are usually smooth curves governed by well-understood gravitational models, but 3I Atlas showed deviations that hinted at forces astronomers could not quite identify. Its brightness fluctuated unpredictably, dipping too deeply on some nights and rising too steeply on others. Attempts to align the data with typical models of outgassing, dust release, or rotational variability produced incomplete answers. Even as the global network of observatories continued to monitor it, the object resisted every effort to place it into a familiar category. And just as these irregularities began pointing toward deeper questions, 3I Atlas slipped behind the sun, entering a period of observational silence that would last far longer than expected. Solar conjunction always hides celestial objects that pass directly behind the sun. But the length and quality of the blackout produced by 3I Atlas unsettled astronomers. Normally, faint traces of light or scatter from dust tails can still be detected at certain wavelengths. But for weeks, every instrument aimed at the region surrounding the sun returned nothing. Webb found nothing. Hubble found nothing. KEK found nothing. Even sensitive radio arrays, which can capture glimmers invisible to optical telescopes, detected only background noise. The space where 3I Atlas should have been became a perfect void. It was as if the object had been swallowed entirely by the sun's glare. Yet models showed clearly that it should still have been emitting some signature. Dust, thermal radiation, reflected light, anything. That total absence, combined with the unresolved anomalies from before conjunction, generated a quiet but escalating tension among researchers waiting for the object to emerge again. When it finally did, the mystery only deepened. Webb's first data returns indicated a dramatic increase in reflectivity, more than 400% brighter than what pre-conjunction observations recorded. Under normal circumstances, comets brighten as their surfaces shed dust and ice near the sun, but they do not become more reflective. They do not suddenly behave like polished objects with smooth surfaces capable of modulating light. Even more striking was the discovery that the surface temperature remained largely unchanged before, during, and after its nearest approach to the sun. Natural bodies fluctuate wildly under such conditions. Ice warms and sublimates, dust heats and blows away, rocky surfaces expand and crack. But 3I Atlas maintained a steady temperature profile, as though equipped with a way to control how it absorbed or emitted heat. As astronomers refined the images, they noticed that the reflectivity did not vary randomly across its surface. 
Instead, it changed in pattern sweeps, almost like panels adjusting their angles in response to the sun's position. With each rotation of the object, different segments brightened smoothly while others faded, suggesting a mechanism, not a natural mechanism, but a controlled one, regulating its exposure. Neither dust plumes nor uneven surface patches could produce such coordinated shifts, and behind those shifting layers of reflected light appeared glimpses of structured geometry, sets of interconnected hexagonal shapes whose symmetry seemed far beyond anything produced by natural erosion or gravitational compression. The object behaved less like a fragment of interstellar ice and more like a system responding intelligently to environmental conditions. But perhaps the most startling behavior came from the material emissions recorded during its approach to the sun. Under normal solar heating, comets produce bright, sweeping tails that stream away from the sun, driven outward by solar radiation pressure. Yet 3i Atlas developed a narrow, stable plume that pointed directly toward the sun, a so-called anti-tail that defied the fundamental physics of cometary motion. At first, scientists considered the possibility of a visual illusion caused by viewing angle, Certain geometric alignments can make dust appear to flow forward when it is not. But this turned out not to be the case. Hubble confirmed the sunward plume, KEK observed the same orientation, European telescopes repeated the measurement independently, all data agreed. The material from 3i Atlas streamed toward the sun with unusual consistency, maintaining its direction even as the object rotated. Normally, comet jets wobble, scatter, and shift as the nucleus spins. This one did not. It held a precise heading, as though powered or constrained by an internal force rather than pushed by radiation. Simulations failed to reproduce the plume using known comet physics. Dust jets cannot maintain that shape. Ice vents cannot produce that stability. The behavior required an influence that was directional something capable of overpowering the sun's outward pressure and guiding material inwards instead. The comparison many astronomers quietly made, even if reluctantly, was to spacecraft propulsion. The plume behaved more like a focused exhaust than a chaotic release of gas, and the consistency sharpened the more the object rotated, making it appear almost as if the plume was actively compensating for the motion rather than reacting to it. Chemical studies added another layer to the puzzle. Early spectral readings suggested an unusually pure mix of nickel and iron on the surface, far more refined than what comets naturally contain. Cyanide compounds appeared in patterns, not drifting randomly across the surface, but seemingly embedded within its structural arrangement, and the light curve showed behavior unlike any other comet or asteroid ever observed. Instead of chaotic variations caused by uneven surfaces or sublimating jets, the brightness pulsed with a rhythm, implying internal cavities or layers reflecting light in a controlled manner. When scientists calculated its mass using orbital measurements, they found it was far too low for its size. The object moved as though hollow, not solid, an unexpected trait implying some form of shell-like construction rather than a natural nucleus. One of the most surprising contributions came from a relatively small observatory in Spain, which captured 159 consecutive frames of 3i Atlas during an observational window. When stitched together, the sequence revealed a narrow jet extending from the object in an unwavering line. It did not bloom outward, like gas from cracks in ice. It did not shift or flicker as the object rotated. Instead, the jet maintained its length, shape, and direction across all frames. Even more intriguingly, subtle corrections in the object's trajectory coincided with periods when the jet intensified. The changes were slight, but smooth, nothing like the chaotic nudges produced by natural outgassing. Some observers noted the resemblance to micro-thrust corrections used by spacecraft to fine-tune their paths. The footage became one of the clearest pieces of evidence that whatever forces acted upon 3i Atlas were not purely natural. Still, the most dramatic event occurred after the period of total observational silence behind the sun. When the object returned to view, Webb and other instruments detected a series of ultraviolet flashes pulsing at perfectly timed intervals of 247 seconds. This alone was perplexing. Natural objects do not keep such consistent rhythm. When the timing of the pulses was mapped, 
the pulse is aligned with the sequence of prime numbers. In the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, prime number sequences have long been considered a potential universal signature of intentional communication. But the signal continued evolving. A final flash lasted more than 13 minutes, and when its internal wavelength modulations were analyzed, they formed a spiral aligned with the golden ratio. Embedded within the spiral were binary patterns repeating in tight recursive loops. Several SETI researchers privately acknowledged that the structure resembled educational templates used to demonstrate what a non-random, mathematically meaningful signal might look like. Before anyone could publicly address these implications, 3i Atlas performed one final maneuver. It deviated slightly from its predicted path, only 0.09 degrees, but enough to be unmistakable, and then began accelerating outward. The acceleration curve did not match solar radiation pressure or gravitational slingshot effects. It matched something closer to a purposeful departure, as though the object had completed a sequence of actions and was now leaving the solar system with intent rather than inertia. After months of luminous anomalies, geometric surfaces, directional plumes, hollow structure hints, ultraviolet pulses, and a mathematically rich final signal, 3i Atlas exited the inner solar system as quietly as it had entered. It offered no further clues, no repeated transmissions, no sudden reversals. It simply slipped back toward interstellar space. Whether the object was a comet exhibiting unknown natural processes or something far more extraordinary remains unresolved. But for many researchers, the timing, structure, and sequence of events felt too deliberate to ignore. Its arrival, its silence, its resurgence of activity, its message-like pulses, and its final outward acceleration all suggested a purpose, one the scientific community has only begun to contemplate. Whatever 3i Atlas was, it did not behave like debris wandering between stars. It behaved like something that had a reason to come and a reason to go.